Hello everybody, welcome back to Two Minutes with the Farmer. Today, I'm going to be asking the farmer, why do we rotationally graze? Why do we rotationally graze? It started back when I was a young accountant, reading every book I could on <laughs> cattle. Back in the day when we were in an apartment, dreaming about having a cattle farm. Um, we just did, your mom and I did a ton of research mm -hmm. and yeah. visited a bunch of farms and the farms that looked the best were the ones that moved their cows around, didn't just keep them in one spot. Mm -hmm. So rotationally grazing can mean many different things. Mm -hmm. Amp grazing, mob grazing, mm -hmm. yeah. high intensity grazing. Basically what we found that works best is nothing in the books. No, just <laughs> personal experience. Every yeah. farm is different. The farm here we have in Arkansas is totally different than our farm in Kentucky. But we have done the where you move the cows every 12 hours. Mm. And that was when I was still working full time and you yeah. were a baby. Uh -huh. So it was a lot of yeah. work. And life's too short to be moving cows all the time. We don't have unpaid interns like Greg Judy. So we have to do the work yeah. ourselves. So my best advice, why we do it, is because it does make a difference. The cows are happier and healthier, the grasses grow better, the flies are less. Right. There's so many benefits to rotationally grazing, but to say you have to move your cows every day, or every 12 hours, or once a week, just do whatever is best for you and your family and your situation. Here in Arkansas, mm -hmm. these girls have been in this pen a week. It's a 40 acre pen. We were going away for Labor Day, so we just gave them a big pen and it worked out for us. We'll be moving probably tomorrow to another pen that's only 10 acres. They'll probably only be in there three days. So it's just kind of whatever works for you Yeah. and how much you can get your slave child labor to work. That's illegal. I know a lot of people have small farms out there. What would you say, how many cows can you fit on one acre, really? The, it totally depends on your grass. In Kentucky, we tried ultra high density grazing where we'd stick 300 pounds of cow on an acre and then let them just trample the snot out of the grass. Mm -hmm. You have to move them pretty often if you do that. Yeah. But generally speaking, here in Arkansas, it's probably, if you want to have grass and not have feed a ton of hay, probably about 10 acres per cow. Well, thank you for telling me all about that, Dad. Yep. Glad to answer my question. And thank you guys for watching Two Minutes with the Farmer on That's a Farm.